Praise Cafe Radio, 1570 AM, WBGX Chicago, with DJ Ed Crosby. Praise Cafe Radio is a media advertising company. They take the fear out of advertising. Listen to the show every Sunday afternoon from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. on 1570 AM, WBGX. Hey, uh, so I'm, my name is, uh, I'd like to thank you guys for having me. My name is Marcus Stennis. Thank you very much. Uh, I work at the uh, Glenwood Linwood Library, and uh, I'm the computer assistant here. I also am uh, part uh, instructor uh, of at the ICANN Lab. I teach podcast class, classes, uh, YouTube classes. Uh, and I just, yeah, I help produce podcasts now. Like they're doing. Thank you guys. Right now, right now. Yeah. You're part of our, our group. I'm part of the C group. Uh, he's our producer. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Definitely thank you these guys for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, you have to throw in my commentary. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely thank you guys for uh, giving me the opportunity and you know, using the ICANN lab, mm-hmm. uh, we tr- we're trying to get a lot more people in, in the ICANN lab mm-hmm. uh, because to me, uh, libraries are a place where you can empower yourself oh, yes. yeah. to uh, to get any information you want. I call it a freedom laboratory. Thank you. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, libra- the library. And uh, like I said, I want a lot of people to come in and use it. Use it. This is a basic uh, can studio. Can anybody come in and use it? Anybody can come in and use this. Okay. Uh, you do have to, if you're doing podcasts mm-hmm. or YouTube videos, mm-hmm. you have to sign up for our podcast and YouTube okay. hours. Mm-hmm. And that's, uh, you get two hours to um, do production, post-production, mm-hmm. pre-production. Okay. It should be enough time. Sometimes it is or isn't because you know how editing can go. Yeah, and, right, you know, right, right, things yeah. can happen. Yeah. Stuff want, needs to be added. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's really uh, neat that uh, patrons get to come in here and just use it and, you know, yeah. And empower themselves to express themselves and whatever they need to put out there. Now we have a, a place where we can, a safe place where we can put our stuff out there. The That's community right. yeah. of Linwood and Linwood can come out, put their stuff out there, and be heard mm-hmm. throughout the metropolitan Chicago. Even areas. other musicians like us would come in and actually record here. Mm-hmm. Yep, oh, uh, they bring some of their uh, their equipment and they play the piano, they play the drums. Okay. Um, the ICANN Lab, uh, our studio here is uh, 85% soundproof, so oh, a lot of people out there uh, outside um, the ICANN Lab can't hear um, the hubbub going on in here, the drumming, the hard bass, uh, some the, the curse words from rappers, uh, <laughs> old, old curse words from R&B singer or singer, so you say no. So yeah, so you don't. Know, we don't really need them uh, hearing all that stuff, right extra now. stuff. Um, exactly. We just need them here to hear the finished product. And what mm-hmm. I would like mm-hmm. is, and what what I like that what the C group does is, you know, you guys are gracious enough to let uh, our YouTube, uh, our library YouTube, use your podcast as Absolutely. content. Oh, because content is king. Uh, yes. you know, it's, mm-hmm. it, it's uh, a two way transaction. Oh, I think no. you know, you guys. You know, who knows who will listen from That's the library. True. So That's it can true. help you guys and it helps us by showing, hey, this is what we're doing in here. Yeah. And so once again, I thank you guys for uh, opening up and and expressing yourself. Using Actually, the we thank studio. you guys. Yeah, you know, yeah. Yeah. definitely. It's like token of, uh, <clears throat> you know, just saying thank you. You know, that's the least we can do is give you the audio files. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's the least we could possibly do. But um, if somebody needed the group or any of our services, you know, through the podcast, and yeah. they can call us. You know, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. and, that, and, and um, or get in touch with the library and them. Call us and get in touch with. Us. And I like that's what I like about this podcast that you all you all have a, a bevy of history different. Uh, years of history. Mm-hmm. Um, you get a perspective from Albert, you know, from Carla. You just get a different perspective mm-hmm. of uh, what you guys are, have been through in, in the True. music industry. I always, I always call it the entertainment industry, and yeah. that's one yes, thing. Yeah. I, I, it's turned more into the entertainment right. industry. <laughs> it's always been entertainment. It's always been entertainment. Right. You look at anything in the back history, mm-hmm. and the ones that stood out were entertainment. Right. Well, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, and I always uh, 
let me just say that I am envious of you guys because you you guys are I'm creative too, but just mm -hmm. a different way. Mm -hmm. I like that you guys can see nothing and then then have music. You know what I'm saying? Like wow, I, that's new. It's yeah, weird. Yeah. Like you know, like you guys can you play the guitar, so mm -hmm. you know. Somebody tells you, hey, you know, let's play this song. You guys are just talking about notes and how right. things sound yeah. in different yeah. notes. Yeah. There's a discipline to it, but there's a creativity that you can put on your own that I really admire creative. So, like, when people come in, artists come in here, you guys are musicians, mm -hmm. like, I just, it really inspires me to uh, go into what you guys do and okay. the science and art behind it. Oh, and it's that thin line between yeah. science and art to where you guys are like, well, right. you know, the discipline says I should follow me. We should sing in this key. Right. Yeah. But it might sound better. Right. <laughs> it's, it's totally. Yeah. totally yeah. And it's more entertaining. Yeah. You know, yeah. so that's See, what, that's what they were trying to do, Norman. They were trying to. Right. right. <laughs> what I, yeah. When he was talking about he had to chase the chase person. The oh, yeah, yeah. But I, yeah, when I seen that going around the circle. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's what they were trying to do. Yeah. Okay. That's <laughs> why I really enjoyed uh, Jamad Armani. He's yes. the young guy we had the last yeah. week. Because yeah. With his rap, it's fresh, it's different, and, and it's still musically inclined. That's what exactly. I like about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when he's talking about it. Yeah, and I like I like with, uh, the last podcast because you we met it, and that was a beautiful thing. Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's what we're all yeah, about. Oh, and that's that's everybody yeah. to everybody to let you know that you can do more and better. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and that's that's what I like that you guys, you know, you you gave them the history of certain things mm -hmm. and how things are supposed to be done. There's a discipline. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's a science to the yeah. business of music, mm -hmm. and then there's an art to the business of music. Mm -hmm. Once you get to figuring out that you have a certain type of leverage, like, well, mm -hmm. I want to do it this way and that way right. now. So, right. and I do like uh, Jamal Armani. Like his yeah. his his vocals mm -hmm. actually become part of the instrumentation yes. yeah. mm -hmm. by the way his melodies are. You mm -hmm. know, and I don't, I don't think he understands yet. Mm -hmm. Which is why I wanted him to meet you guys, mm -hmm. because there's that. Like I said, there's a science and art to this stuff that yeah. he don't necessarily. He's not trained like say mm -hmm. you guys are, mm -hmm. but he, some of that can rub off, and the synthesis mm -hmm. can come to where like he won't get exactly what you have, you mm -hmm. know, in, in the training and the years of experience. Mm -hmm. Experience that comes with time. That, that comes, comes with time. time. That's yeah. Yeah. I was learn. really going to expand on that because. Sometimes, um, like what you said, like, oh, I'm married from a distance, but I'm like, you could probably do the same thing, too, you know, in your own mm -hmm. way. And yeah. you, you, what you're doing is just as creative because we yeah. can't do what you do. And, right. and it's not right. anything like us. I, I kind of get um, when you said that, I think about people who walk up to you like, I couldn't do what you I say, yes, you can, mm -hmm. you know, and I haven't been doing things long. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, no, I was like. Probably the, not the laziest musician, but, <laughs> but I said, no, if I can do it, you know, in, in my own right, you know, and everybody brings something different to the table. So what I bring, you know, and you help us out and we say thank you to what you do. Like I said, it's like um, we're, we're working in this in this circle, you know, like, well, it's kind of a little web. It's like I can't do this without you, you know. Right. And, right. Right. and um, yeah. I think everybody in this room has been into shoes where we looked at somebody and said, wow, yeah. you know, and how could I do that or yeah. whatever. So whatever you like, you're recording, you're doing the podcast, you're doing the YouTube. At some point, you're probably like, well, how do you guys start, you know, where's square one? And we were all at that point, you know, like, mm -hmm. what's my first note on the saxophone, you know, yeah. or yeah. any other exactly. um, Thing so I, I thought about that when you said that I said oh no <laughs> you know but, right. yeah and, and the thing is with me is that um like when I when I say that I I do admire you guys mm -hmm. I just don't want to do what you guys do okay so oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. you know, you great know, great <laughs> souls you know, out know, there because that. I see I I'm okay in the shower you know <laughs> I, I can dance like when you, when no one's looking at me I'm <laughs> Mm -hmm. But yeah. the way you guys, the time you guys put in there, that's what I admire. Because like, uh -huh. so, um, I've worked, I've, I've, I've wrote a book before, and it's mm -hmm. just like, you know, I had to get that out. And, yeah. and oh, nice. it was, what, what was the name of the book? It was the name of your book. Yeah. 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 Well, the book, it, I put a book out, but it's it's private. It's kind of for me and my family. Oh, so, you know, okay. Uh, and that, that's not, okay, not copyright so, issues. We talked about that. And, and so right. <laughs> like um, the Wu Tang Clan, where they just made that one little CD and they only sold to one person. Oh uh, yeah, fifteen million. <laughs> you know, yeah, that guy was a pretty. Uh, that was he was a jerk too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, he sold, I never heard that one. Yeah, he yeah. sold it to a guy. He, he had a cure for. Um, 
was it AIDS or something? Something like that. I can't remember and what it was. boosted right? it up. Like, you boosted the price, the price up. Really high. Like, 700%. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is a practice that they do for, yeah. for yeah. certain yeah. drugs. Right. You know, yeah. this, he wasn't necessarily doing anything wrong. That was yeah. business as usual. That was business as yeah. usual. But the fact that he mm-hmm. did it, and his, he, put, he put his name behind it. Like, yeah, yeah, I did this. He's so arrogant about it. very arrogant. Yeah. What, you know, Marcus, I was curious. What did you do before you came to the library? Yeah. Before I came to the library, I was, uh, I was in the media uh, and basically uh-huh. entertainment. Uh-huh. Uh, I worked for Power 92. Oh, uh, you did. Uh, the church station, WYCA 102.3, Soul 106.3. Also, before that, I worked at ESPN in Connecticut, the network. Oh, right Um, on. So, Uh Bristol, Connecticut. Uh You have a real good background. Yeah. I have a a decent background to where if somebody got a degree in media, Uh I I feel like they can come talk to me and get basic knowledge and see, you know, know, I can kind of help you, you know, even though Technology is changing media so oh, much. Yeah. This yeah. is kind of the reason why I'm up with it too. That's beautiful. Yeah. I'm trying to stay That's up with it. Uh, you guys are involved, and you guys are doing podcasts now. You guys are changing media. Like you guys, this podcast can be a reason why you know people are not listening to the radio anymore. Yeah. You know, like yeah, somebody so about that. Yeah. Every, everything is changing. Yeah. You know, with technology, and so and um, I've done it the old school way. Mm-hmm. Uh, with network television and mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I've seen how those are produced uh, which is great to see because yeah. uh, if anything goes down with the new way of doing it right. you can you always can go always back to old way especially with radio you know we used to have to splice tapes you oh, know, I know heard about that, and yeah. edit it you know now we just have my tapes at the house <laughs> yeah, you know, you, 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 you splice those the parts you don't want out, you uh, get the little white out. I mean, those, <laughs> that was a hard way. And, you know, now with digitally, I can just remove stuff and it's yeah, just like. That's it, so cool. It's just, even cool. all of that is still artistry. It, yeah, it, it, it is. It, it, is, so, yeah, it is very creative. Because when that's we sit here and we talk, you uh-huh. know, and, and we goof around and stuff like that, you know, uh, to us, we probably sound all goofy and everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. probably to everybody out there, we sound goofy, but yeah. we don't sound as maniacally goofy. <laughs> you know, you, you put uh, you put an art form to it, yes. right. whereas somebody would would hear it mm-hmm. and want to listen to it. You mm-hmm. know, whether yeah. whether we're sitting here. You know, it's from some other venue and just talking like that, people might go by and say, yeah, who cares, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But you can put something in there that makes people stop what they're doing and pay attention to it. Yeah. And, you know, the four of us just talking like that wouldn't have the same effect if it wasn't for your artists. Right. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. And it's, it's a collaborative effort because, like, as you guys are talking, like, the first mm-hmm. segment I love because you guys went into what you're thinking is of how how keys are supposed to sound and, mm-hmm. you know, how you warm up and stuff mm-hmm. and laying down versus... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 Every little thing matters. I'm still stuck on that. I'm not still stuck like on laying on the stuff. I'm going to try to excite with this. So, as a, I'm listening as a fan, and, you know, so I'm... I'm I'm a set of ears that you guys don't necessarily have because yeah. you guys That's are true. trying to talk. Absolutely. And I get to see it and I get to, I'm like, hey, you know, what you think we should add music behind this or, uh-huh. you know, uh, a effect a special effect or mm-hmm. whatever and then uh-huh. it's what you guys want and so you, you know i like gongs gongs you like yeah. gongs really yeah, mm-hmm. one of my songs has a gong in one oh, of the new ones i'm working on hear it it starts out a certain way and before i start to lead it actually goes wham bang with the gong oh, and the guy wow. that did it said you sure you want that in there? <laughs> i like that you went okay, okay. But that's the creativity sure. of it now and i, I kind of did want to ask you guys um what's your take on how music is changing um, in terms of mm. like sounds and the way the, how you use it's voices. Going back. Like, wait, you want to, oh, yeah. you want to stay back? here for five hours? Like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. Yeah. did you bring a sleeping bag? <laughs> I, get, I get off at nine. So <laughs> <get it. laughs> in my opinion, it's going back to real music because what's happening real. is, to be honest, right now, a friend of mine, I was at his house yesterday, my son's friend, actually, and he stays downtown Chicago. Mm-hmm. And the first thing he did, he opened the package and said, oh, yeah, I just got this. It was Aretha Franklin's whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And it's in vinyl. It's an actual yes. vinyl record. Mm-hmm. And I said, that's cool. Why you got vinyl? He said, oh, man, everybody's got this. We got a whole mm-hmm. library over here. And I went, you joking. He said, yep. yeah, it's the coolest thing. This kid's in his 30s. Mm-hmm. And 
this is what they're doing. They're listening yep. to the vinyl again because the sound is warmer than yes. the new. And people that can afford it can do it because you mm -hmm. can't afford it. It's expensive. Because right? yeah. 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 This, this is super cheap. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. And I'm laughing because I still have all my old equipment at home. And then yeah. and a lot of this stuff is becoming collectors yeah. 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 items now. Collectors yeah. items, yeah. yeah. You I'm get laughing. a lot of money. I have to yeah. look through my own. Oh, okay. Because yeah. one of the big ones, the the, the the albums that could break and stuff. Oh, those, those 78s? Like, 70, yeah. I had some of them. I still we had actually, them. the family actually has 78s. Mm -hmm. We actually uh, broke my dad's, sorry, Sweet Georgia Brown when we were kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we have, the other, <laughs> we have the other ones, though. Okay. And we don't touch them. They're just in their, in their stuff, in their cases, and all that kind of stuff. And that's how albums actually started. The original albums, uh -huh. they were 78s with one side only. The back side mm -hmm. was empty because they didn't realize they could do that. Uh -huh. And they actually had a like a portfolio, a folder. Uh -huh. With more than one space in it, so if you had okay. an album, it was like one big uh, seventy-eight, uh -huh. two big seventy-eights. Depends how many songs on the whole thing. They were uh -huh. all seventy-eights in wow. one record, and it was funny when I saw it. I said, wow. wow, that's that's really something. It was interesting. Yeah, it was interesting. You know, like Marcus said, things are changing. Yeah, yeah things are changing. I do wonder. Uh, I want to ask you guys also. Just curious. Um, mm -hmm. We talked about, I mean, you guys talked about Aretha Franklin last week. Yes. Um, and, of course, she is the voice. I mean, the yes, voice, um, the queen. But she might not be the voice for everybody. And, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, like, I mean, of course, she is the voice, the mainstream. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, we know her. Yeah. But, like, that's just, uh, you guys coming up, um, is there the voice for you? Like, maybe it wasn't Aretha Franklin. Maybe it was Gladys Knight or James mm -hmm. Brown. Is this something that inspired you guys so much to where singing well, let me rephrase that question. Is there a voice today that you get? Because I, I hear like a lot of R&B yeah. songs, yeah. and it's I don't like this. Oh, so I want to say something about R&B. I didn't know it changed. Well, I've been stuck into New Jack Swing and prior to that, uh -huh. and okay. so I, that's my definition of R&B. I mean, uh -huh. going back to whenever ten, between uh, Temptation or whatever it goes and then up to New Jack Swing. The sound of r and B, I I didn't know it changed. Now it's like more of a rapping thing. Yeah, and yeah. I wanted to talk about that because my definition of R&B could be Anita Baker. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. and today's it's like Anita Baker. No, it's Drake. And I'm like, Drake? And I, yeah. and I was so really? lost. I was I was so lost when I heard that on the radio. So I'm like, where have I been living? And uh -huh. I listened to the same, the same old. But let's go back to your question. Say, what was that voice? Well, but before I Oh. And is, is there a voice? Is yeah. there a voice that that inspired you? That's like that's the voice I just love. And then is there a voice now that you hear from anybody? Or, from I, I guess from the last ten, oh, last, wow. ten, years. last ten, fifteen years. Don't laugh too Regina Bell. With, I, Regina Bell. Oh, Regina. Your voice. Wait, no, Regina. With, but then that's uh, between her and Wendy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah, so yeah. hard. <laughs> that's, that's such an influence. My mom had Wendy playing. I mean, yeah. talk about diehard fans. So yeah. that's all I heard was Wendy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I guess that was the one that was influenced me at the early ages. But um, mm -hmm. today, I don't really know too many people today. I mean, okay. I do. Um, oh, I don't. Um, oh, let's like come back. Let's girl. pass it. Let's pass what, it. What's the white girl? Uh, don't name. say it. Um, she, is, she, she has a night. She has she has albums named Nineteen and Twenty. Oh, that's Adele. 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 Like, so she might be the yeah. voice for. An, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Eh. And then, <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me stop. I'm I sure love you, Beyonce. I know. Beyonce might be the Drake too. Yeah. <laughs> what, what were you saying? I said, I'm going to be showing my age. I, I heard of her. I never heard her. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who was that? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Basically, basically, I really don't have a desire to. Mm -hmm. Okay. Most of the, yeah. to me, most of the songs that I hear now are... They're striving so much to be commercialized. Yeah, yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Everybody sounds There's the same. No Everybody sounds the same. same. You know, <laughs> that's true. Yeah. That's true. If, if you get one and he makes a little impact right there, then everybody's yeah. right. doing fine. Like and yeah. that's one another thing about the voices I've noticed with R and B is that they're less mature. They're always always young voices. It's right. okay to have young voices, okay, but, but it's like. If you think about uh, people who have made an impact, they have more like mature voices, like right. more yeah. adult like voices. Now everybody sounds like this and wanna sound uh, and yeah. don't get me wrong, everybody's voice is their voice, but it's like yeah. that market, they're kinda like we don't want another uh, like a Teddy Pendergrass. We want somebody like a 
like a Chris Brown that sings like that because that's what we're marketing to. And so yeah. because the music industry started marketing towards like we want this audience, the ones that's going to pay for mm -hmm. this, which happens to be, it should be everybody, but mm -hmm. you know how they are now. It's like what the young folks want and it's kind of like, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, but Adele, I think she, well, I, I, <laughs> wait, where do we start? Uh, you know, but I want to get back to that, okay. what the young people want or whatever. I think they underestimate. You know, there are people yeah. like with Aretha Franklin, when I was reading comments and people were paying homage mm -hmm. to her, they were saying, there were people like, I'm heavy metal, but I love Aretha Franklin. Right. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know, yeah. I'm, I'm into rap, but I love Aretha Franklin. Right. You know, I think they underestimate they what people's ears like to hear. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why independent artists are becoming a really big thing now. And mm -hmm. they're actually able to give their voice of this is what we're doing, and they're finding a following. Right, because, somebody yeah, likes it. Cause somebody right, somebody's going to like it, yeah. It's, 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 it's covering all the old songs. Yeah, yeah. All the old yes. songs. yeah everything's yes. repeating itself, absolutely. Mm -hmm. it, it, come, it comes back around. I mean, even like, I like doing like Natalie Cole stuff. Yes. Oh, yeah, you know? See, great. eventually I want to do no more Blue Christmases, though. Because mm -hmm. I actually love it. It's, it's a fantastic Christmas. It's a beautiful Christmas, slashy love song kind of thing. Mm -hmm. It's really nice, but I loved her voice, the warmness of her mm -hmm. voice. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love. Any artist, I don't care if it's now, 21st century voices, or, you know, the 40s and stuff. And, and in between, I love richness of what I love interpretation mm -hmm. of songs. Mm -hmm. I love how, I always like to say vocalists, are a lot like actors yeah. and you have to interpret the song you have to try to make those people that are hearing you feel what that's you what, feel and right. what that's you're what makes Absolutely. Yeah. exactly yeah. so I'm like so I like people that do that and that because I'll actually you know listen to a singer mm -hmm. and depending on how they interpret the song I'm like that would make a great video mm -hmm. or imagine a video you know in my head of what that song right. would be yeah there are a couple of videos which I actually saw the video to the song I'm like no, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> now, now, see, the only thing with me as far as singing goes, uh -huh. because my background is totally interesting because I've learned country, rock. When I first started, uh -huh. it was blues, then uh -huh. rock. Uh -huh. Then when I go to Mississippi, it's country, blues, mm -hmm. gospel. Mm -hmm. And when I come back here, it's rock, R&B, jazz. Okay. And then when it comes to singing, my inspiration was really weird. Joe Cocker. I love Joe Cocker. Janis Joplin. <laughs> oh, yeah. And one of the other voices that somebody laughed, they said, you're joking. I said, no, I love the way uh, the trumpet player. Uh, yeah, Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. Louis Armstrong. There was something about his voice that just stuck in I think he liked to be called Louis. Louis Armstrong. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I had to throw that fun fact yeah. in there. Yeah. Nice fun fact. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, lo but I loved him, too. You know, there, But see, I think that's another thing. Oh, There's certain trees. voices. <laughs> And I love it. I love that. Nobody's that. ever done that song the way he's done it. You know, there's certain singers right. that when you hear them, there's certain instrumentalists, that's that's the mm -hmm. same thing. When you hear them, nobody has to mention their name. You know, you know who it is. It's so distinctive. Like, who messes up Anita Baker when they hear her? It's like, no, right. you can't. You cannot. It's like, you know, you know who it is. And like Gladys Knight. You you know that when oh, you hear her. Patty LaBelle. Patty LaBelle. Patty, oh my, she takes me to church every time. Yeah. Yeah. And you just know, and and some singers now you don't have that. I mean, I've I've actually gone. Who is that? Mm -hmm. And yeah. some say, it's like the phrase is "to thine own self be true." Uh, right. Yeah. You know, yeah. back then they were true to themselves. Yeah. Now everybody is a copycat. You yeah. know, that's they want the quick success, so they yeah. don't they follow whatever trend is out there, and mm -hmm. they don't develop a thing on their own for the most part. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, you know. It doesn't. They don't really stand out, you know. They just fit into this group right here. Right. Like, you know, then these singers and performers fit into this group, yeah. and then this group. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But the, the group that they really fit into is a group where they have, you know, the emotional songs, uh -huh. right. Right. the yeah. love songs, the, love the yeah. songs yeah. that you know you just you sit back, and you, <laughs> you get your family first, and then you just sit there and you. You know, y'all just cuddle up or whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. Too, because that song, like Barry White, is uh, oh, yeah. he's singing it from the bottom of his toenails, <laughs> doing whatever it is, and and you feel the whole, you do right. everything into yeah. what they feel. They, they put feel. them, they lay themselves really out yeah. with those songs, right. and they don't do that anymore. 
Yeah, well, you know, that's when we get back to interpretation of songs, mm -hmm. you know, and how you do it. And that's the thing I loved about Aretha Franklin, getting back to her. Mm -hmm. And I've known other artists that did that. You know, you go to a concert, and mm -hmm. a lot of people are thinking they're going to hear exactly what they heard on the CD Absolutely. album or whatever. And I love when artists do their own thing. I don't Thank like doing you. the same song. Thank the you. Same oh, my gosh. Drives. Can you we have a whole podcast yeah. about that? Because I can rant. Yeah. I hate going to con like and so now we'll show us right. no no it's, 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 it's just a quick little five the, the expanding what you said oh my god I ain't going to rehearsals and people are like I want to play exactly like record thank I'm you. like thank you don't do it because it's like why do, do you think people want to come there if you want to play exactly like the, like the record? What's the point of them coming? You're supposed to make it your own. You're supposed to have your touch. Exactly. You're supposed to have your feel on it or your twist on it. Your twist like, on oh it. my God, Earth, Wind, and Fire Live. I can like that yeah. better than the record. <laughs> you know? yeah, because that's what, because that's what you want. You know, when I go to a concert or like I said, when I'm singing. I want to reinterpret it. I might be feeling a different way this right. day than I did when I recorded or than I did right. when I sang a couple of weeks ago. I, I have a different feeling about it, a different right. vibe about it. So that's what makes it fun. But when right. you hear, I mean, I can just, if that's the case, I can just put on the CD and just go ahead and lip sync to it. And we'll, right. Just, right, right. We'll, just, we'll just do it like right. that. But yeah, and, and instrumentalists, I love that when they're really like, you know, slash, right. Into, you know, yes. saxophonist, you know, any, right. any, and you know, like when you play, you know, and you really into it, you know, pianist, mm -hmm. which, yes, that's the way I pronounce it, that's the correct way. I'm just like, like yeah. what? No, yeah. 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 We're not going with that joke. <laughs> okay, the person that plays the piano, are you all happy now? Is it, <laughs> it flowers or flowers? I'm just saying. Flowers. Okay, okay, keep on flowers. Yeah, just kidding. It's the person that plays the blue. But, no, that's okay. <laughs> but no, I, it's fun I love to see her laugh sometimes. <laughs> and her, her Rochelle is just oh, yeah, trips yeah, me yeah. every year. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to, to keep my giddy laugh in. Okay. Trying to, trying to stay on point. Stay on point. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> I want to ask you something. Have anybody ever told you, like, I can tell how you're feeling based on what you're, you know, doing on stage? Like, has oh, anybody yeah. told you that? Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, somebody told me that. They said, I can tell how you're weak. or not weak, but, like, how you're yeah. feeling right now. Yeah. And, and so that's what you were going back to. What uh, Norman yeah. was yeah. saying, like, you yeah. know, when you put yourself out there and just yeah. open yourself up to that vulnerability, exactly. and then people are kind of like, "Oh, that's really you coming out now." I can tell what you feel, you know. So yeah. I'm like, but see, like, take heart. That's why when Beyonce and Jay Z went through what they went through, yeah, and stuff. That's why everybody flocked to their concert because they said, "We're gonna be able to see it when they're on stage. We're gonna be able to see what's true. going on true. and stuff." Now I don't know if they did because I didn't go, but <laughs> I don't know if they did. But that, but yeah, it does. People can generally tell, you know, right. unless of course. You know, you do it in a way like that. When I used to do opera and stuff, you know, you however it is, you're gonna you're gonna match that. Really? Oh, we were gonna do violin. Yeah, we can do violin. Just going back to rapping, well, to back to what your question is. So yeah. today's what music, we, we feel like you got you got on point. Yeah, yeah. Wait, so like we just feel like there's kind of a, a lack of. The, uh, of the individual story uh, yeah. and with them because well I think when you sign the dotted line you know they're kind of like okay you're in our hands now so some people kind of yes. like I have like for instance I felt bad for Prince that he had a lot of yes. stuff that uh, uh, like I don't even know, you know, some of it. Like, there's a lot of stuff that he wrote, but when he got to his record company, they said, "Oh no, we want to put you out like this, and you're under yeah. our contract." So, I think when you sign a dotted line, it looks great, you know, blah blah blah. Exactly. But then you can't be your itself, and it might be changing because, uh -huh. um, well, God, what do I know about the record companies? You know, so <laughs> I'm only. I, I can with tell it. you that for a shame because a friend of mine, he got a, a contract with Warner Brothers. They gave him the advance of us. Six figures, uh -huh. and when he went, we congratulated him. He was happy, and right next thing we know, he had he had uh, was getting sued by Warner. Okay, and I said why? why? I said because I told them what I was doing. That's why they hired uh -huh. me to write for this. And uh -huh. I wanted to work with this person. They said no. We want you to work with this uh -huh. person. He said they're unknown. He said you are too. And yeah. he didn't do it. And when he didn't do it, they just said, okay, they shelved his whole project. Yeah. Yeah. Because they own yeah. That's the problem. They, they, they own you. At this point, they own you. They own you. So yeah. we have to do a podcast about yeah, we that have. type of stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. We had a lot of topics that we do today really that we can put exactly. in touch. Exactly. Cafe Radio. 15 yeah. seconds. He's actually, he's actually preaching. WBGX Chicago with DJ Ed Crosby. Praise Cafe Radio is a media advertising company.
They take the fear out of advertising. Listen to the show every Sunday afternoon from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. on 1570 AM WBN.